Why don't we make a very simple structure and explain how some of the components work along the way. Alright, let's start with the mitered wall. We put this on the corner and we put another mitered wall beside it. The corner. There you go, there's a corner wall. Why don't we add frameless wall and another frameless wall. I particularly like these corner walls right here. The frameless corners on them. Connect and connect the pegs into the holes. Alrighty. Okay, let's take a solid wall and another solid wall. And sometimes if you don't have a wall, you can just leave it bare. Just create the frameless, frameless corner by itself, like that. Why don't we do a French door? And that can open, as you can see, like that, if you want. another mitered corner and why don't we use a mitered clear corner this time quickly remove and change this is the beauty of an arcade you can change things more or less immediately now let's get a picture window and one more. Okay. If you want to do a cantilever, lots of ways to do it. So you can see how that one cantilever here. floor to create a landing just like that. You use the half stair with a link to one side just like that. Sometimes you need to add a little pressure. Then you get the other half stairs and you make it like this. And when it reaches the top, you use a link again. How easy is that? Okay. I'd actually like to put in two. again. Now, in order to save your floor panels, you can use the wall joints. This is a corner wall joint. 
and this is a straight wall joint, okay? <clears throat> These wall joints allow you to do different things. For example, you can create multiple height spaces. For example, let's put a wall on top here just to demonstrate that. We're not going to do this on this occasion because I'm going to put a pitched roof on it. Let me just finish off here. the wall joints. So the joints actually act as a ring beam as well around the top of the walls just like that. So if you're using this just as an open room you can do that and that's very neat. How about that? Okay now let's put on the roof pan. I should say the roof truss. That simply goes down like that. And this panel goes over here. Now we need to connect these to one another with a roof panel. So the roof panel comes in two sizes, 3.6 meter to scale and a 2.4 meter to scale. So this says, to put it this way up, we start at the top. Like that. And work our way down. very quickly. If you want to leave a space such as a roof light then you can do so. I'm just going to close it off then. If you want let's turn this around. Imagine trying to do this by cutting gluing, measuring and sticking stuff together. I think it would take you a great deal of time and effort more to do it. The beauty about Arcid is that it opens up architectural model making to everybody really. See? It's pretty cool. Now why don't we finish this off here with some roof tiles. There we go. Creates a really nice finish. And these can be used for flat roofs or for external floor tiles and landscaping. Yeah. I also forgot to mention that you can use the secondary assembly the floor panels to create possibilities for landscaping as well. Just very quickly showing you the stepping effect here. Let's just remove that link. Hope you get the idea. So there you go, just one little structure. Very simply done. Very quickly. That's it. Oh by the way, I didn't mention that then you can go to the architectural website and go to the uh, library of architectural materials and print stuff off and stick them on to create the desired effect. Or you can simply find your own materials 
and do the exact same.